welcome to this neat video. Okay, so today is a huge haul. Uh, this has been gathering, gathering up for so long. Um, it's insane. So, I'm going to get into it because it's going to take a while. Okay, face wise, I'm not going to go into detail, I'm just going to show you, otherwise it'll be super long. Anyway, face wise, I bought the Garnier Micellar Water because I wanted to, because it was so much bigger than the L'Oreal Micellar Water, which I absolutely adore, but it was just so much bigger and a little bit cheaper. Um, to make it so cheap, you had to buy a second item, which I was like, hell yeah. Um, so I bought the Garnier 2-in-1 Eye Makeup Remover. I don't normally buy, um, use these. As you can see, I haven't used much. So, that will be a test of telling. But, um, yeah, I'll use the next thing. I went into the body shop and I bought a load of other stuff in there, but, um, I can't find it. Annoyingly. So, I'm just going to show you what I've bought makeup-wise, um, as it's a makeup haul. And I bought the Honey Bronzer, which looks like this. It's just, it looks like the um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. The big brown one, not the little blue one. Um, and I bought this in um, O2 Fair Matte. Um, I've been looking for a bronzer for ages, and I finally found the perfect one. I'm so happy because I really struggle with bronzing and contouring. Um, because I just don't quite understand how it all goes on and whatever. But, um, yeah, so I bought that. Oh no, in Poundland, I might just add, I saw this and was like, oh, I'll try it. Um, and it's the Rimmel Stay Blushed Liquid Cheek Tint, which you can get the bigger ones in actual places, drugstores. But as it was like a pound, I was like, oh, get on then. Um, so this is 004 Sunkish Cherry. And it looks like a coral, I think. I think it's a coral. It's like a corally colour. I just thought it'd be fun to try. And I thought the colour was nice for with nice pale skin in the autumn time. So, yeah. Time will tell. In Superdrug, I went to Collection to buy the Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Concealer. I have it Cool Medium in 2. I also then saw the Cream Puff lipsticks. And was like, I really want to try them because... They have been, um, they have been also named as, like, NYX dupes, which NYX is really cheap anyway, but, um, we can't get NYX here in the UK unless you order it online. So, the cream puffs were exactly the same, or I've been told exactly the same, so I was like, oh, I'll try it. So, I bought two, and I have cotton candy, which I'm wearing today, and fairy cake which is like a corally colour. I then went to Rev uh, Makeup Revolution, which I believe is a sister brand to MUA, which is Makeup Academy, which again is a very cheap brand. And I bought three blushes. Um, I'm really excited for Makeup Re Revolution because they've just come into our stores um, where I live, so I'm really excited to go to this splurge um, when I go. So I have three colours. Um, of blush, I've used two of them. So I've got Treat, which is a nice kind of currently pale pink colour with a little bit of shimmer. Don't drop them. I've got a mid-tone pink, which is called Now, which is very pretty. And I've got quite a bright pink, which is called Hot, which I've not opened. I also went to MUA as well. Um, and bought four single shadows. Um, I don't buy singles very much because I I just don't. I don't know. I never find nice singles. Um, and so yeah, I was like, oh, I should buy some more as I only pound. Um, so I bought all in the same kind of colour range for a great neutral uh, brown smoky eye. So I've got the matte shadow in a fudge, and they finally have names, which I love. Because they used to be called numbers and it's really annoying. So I got, that was matte, that was fudge. I got um, champagne, which is pretty white. Just dug my nail in that one. Well done. I've got chamboisie, which is a kind of uh, browny gold, copy colour. And I've got another matte, which is called chestnut, which I really like. And then I splurge. Oh no, I didn't. One more. 
and then I also went to um, Maybelline, which I never actually go to Maybelline for much, but um, and let alone the lipstick, I bought a lipstick and it's in the 175 Pink Punch, it's the colour sensational ones, just looks like a really pretty kind of pink colour, really like, oh that's a bit, I really like this. It's like a really nice like hot pink when you put it on, um, and then it turns into kind of like a watermelony kind of dark darker colour, which is really pretty. It's been really nice to wear. Then I splurged on L'Oreal. I'm sorry. My first purchase was a lipstick, and it's the um, exclusive collection, the nude. And I have Julianne's Nude, um, and at the minute they are at a lower price of £7 instead of £9, I believe. So I will be getting some more, most definitely. Um, but it's just this absolutely stunning nude colour. I really like this, it looks so nice. And it's so kind of like sheer and pretty, and I, I really like it. Then I bought some more lipsticks because I was like, oh, lipsticks. Um, I've recently just uh, done my makeup storage and I was like, I haven't got any lipsticks. I have to buy lipsticks. So I then bought some more lip products. And I have two of the L'Oreal Glam Shine Stains, I believe is what they're called. Um, and I have 102 in Romy, which is a pale pink. which is a really pretty colour, really pretty pale pink colour and I got 402 in Milady, or Milady, which is a really pretty dark plummy kind of colour and I'm so excited to wear it for like October and things which is this one here um, I don't know how much they're worth I'm sorry. And my last lip product is another L'Oreal product, and it's the Fuchsia Dry. Oh no, I don't know what these are called. They're meant to be the YSL dupes. They don't tell you. Anyway, this is in a 401 Fuchsia Drama, and I'm going to run out of space. But it's like a really bold. Ooh. Oh, I broke that. Oops. Really bold fuchsia kind of pinky colour. It's a gorgeous gloss. This one here. Um, it has an incredible staying power. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. My hand is so colourful. Okay, so that was my haul. I really hope you enjoyed how um, how much I spent. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm really sorry it was really quick, but I, I want to keep these videos really quite short and concise and easy and convenient for you guys to watch um, my, because I tend to ramble. Yeah. Sorry. But that was the video and I really hope you enjoyed. So I will see you next week for a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.